Hi there, welcome back. I'm Melissa and today's video is all about my DIY pawn recipe. I'm gonna try and keep this video pretty short and sweet for you guys. I did film this once already, but I think I'm gonna scratch most of that content footage that I found because the pumice stone that I ended up getting for the first time around was a little bit small. So I decided to find a new one. So I have the perfect pumice stone now and a pretty comparable recipe. So Lechuza Pond has three rocks that you need. You need zeolites, lava rock, and pumice. So I'm gonna show you the bags that I got and we'll make a fresh batch. I'm gonna go outside and rinse it off in my driveway. And yeah, we will show you the comparison. Pumice, you are going to need 3 16th of an inch pumice stone to compare it to Lechuza size that they are using. I originally got 1 8 inch, but that's way too small. So 3 16th is what you're gonna need. Next, you're gonna need a lava rock. This actually has 1 8 inch and 3 16th inch combined. It's a mixed bag. And I found it to be the perfect size. And lastly, zeolites. This is a huge bag. You're gonna need this here to make our DIY pond. In the footage that I had filmed already, I actually took my old bag of Lechuza Pond. I had already opened it, rinsed it, and used most of that. I did actually go through and count um, probably about 10 handfuls. I did about 10 scoops and I literally took my time. <laughs> I separated out the pumice stone, the zeolites and the lava rock to see if I could get a comparable recipe. And from what I counted, you're gonna need two times the amount of pumice to lava rock and zeolite. So basically you need more pumice. So I would buy a bigger quantity of pumice. So two to one, one. Two pumice stone to one lava rock to one zeolites. And to rinse your pond, you're gonna to want to get beer or wine brewing bags. I got this off Amazon. This came in a three pack, but I already used the two already. They're pretty big mesh bags, like so. And they're pretty thin, like the holes aren't big, so your rocks aren't gonna fall out. So when you're making your DIY, you dump it into a mesh bag and it has a drawstring-like closure. Take it outside if you have um, somewhere like driveway or sidewalk, something where you can possibly hook a hose up to to rinse it. That's what I do. So I'm gonna put this pond in here and I'm gonna go outside and rinse it. And once it's all rinsed, I have to let it kind of air dry and that'll be your DIY pond recipe. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you what it's gonna look like when I'm all finished. I'm back in and the rinsed pond is right there and I rinsed a little cup of Lechuza and I want you to look at the comparison. So obviously one is more whitish looking and one of the pumice stones is more of a beige color. So this is Lechuza and this is my DIY. Very similar in size pumice stones. I honestly prefer the look of this one. It has more of a blue white tint. It looks more clean, whereas this looks a bit more dirty. And I did rinse this through, but you can see the consistency is the same. And my DIY will not have any fertilizer, so you'd have to fertilize right away. So last time that I filmed this video, I had put my Black Maranta into the DIY pond that I did, except I used the smaller pumice stone. It's doing very well. I have it right here I'm gonna show you. I would say there's nothing wrong with the smaller pumice stones. You just have to keep in mind that it's not gonna hold on to water, um, that much water, because it is a smaller stone. And since Lechuza's pond seems to have twice the amount of pumice from what I counted, that's important because you need to have a little bit of a bigger size stone to hold onto water. And the smaller it is, the more compact and dense the substrate can be, which can squish the roots a little bit, which could rot. Um, so that's the only negative I would say about smaller stones. And you can actually make pond, you know, with larger stones if you prefer for like maybe plants that have a thicker root system. Okay, and so let me show you the Maranta. 
Here she is, M-I-D-I-Y. So I would say it's been at least a week and I see four growth points. There's one here, one here, one here, and there's one here. So I would say she is extremely happy in the DIY pond. And again, this is with the smaller stones, so I'm not gonna use this anymore. I'm just gonna mix it until it's gone because I made a huge batch of this one. And I'll probably mix this one in with my Aeroid mix when I'm like repotting just to use the batch because I have, yeah, I have a big container of the DIY pond. <laughs> so now I have an even bigger container of the DIY pond. I'm so happy with it. So again, I will list here the size that you need of each stone. And if you, you know, prefer to buy all the ingredients separately and make your own batch, I will have um, the ingredients linked down below in the description. And I'm also going to be selling it on my website. So by the time this video is up, I will have it live on my site. So if you want to purchase it, you can purchase it and I'm excited to sell my DIY. I'm so happy with it and it makes me happy knowing like my Maranta's happy in it. Cause that's what I was worried cause I've only tried Lechuza. So I was worried to try a different palm that wasn't Lechuza. <laughs> Just because they claim to have the ideal air to water ratio, I was a little worried, but I am very happy with my consistency. Okay, let's talk about price breakdown. Okay, so since you need twice as much pumice, the three gallon bag of pumice stone that I bought is all in that mix there. So I would say that's roughly, probably a bag and a half compared to Lechuza's 12 liter bag. The pumice stone for three gallons was $33. The lava rock was about the same price for three gallons, but you can make twice the recipe with the amount of lava rock that you get. You just have to buy double the pumice stones. And then the zeolites comes in a huge bag and I think that was around 40 some dollars. And that you could probably make three times the amount with the amount of zeolites you get. And if you can find these, like if you can find lava rock in that amount, cheaper near you. Obviously it's going to be less expensive to DIY it. So I'm very excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my little DIY recipe and I'm excited for it. If you have any questions about anything, let me know down below in the comments and I'll talk to you again here soon.